The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our Silent Hill 3 playthrough. Last we left off, we uh, came into this room, and uh, there was some interesting stuff laying around. But I came across something that I thought we should read. This might be uh, useful to know. Uh, there's something written on the notebook. There's a monster in the water. The bastards killed two of my buddies. I should have never doubted that old urban legend about alligators in the sewers. That was no myth. But no one believes me. They were drunk and slipped. We're not that damn stupid. Uh, even calling it a monster isn't quite right. This is something else. All I know is something's in there. I'm going in now to beat that thing's head in. If you find this note, consider it my will. Revenge is futile, or so you may think, uh, reading this, but Jose and Jaime were my best buddies. I uh, wish I knew how to do the deed. Uh, guns won't work underwater. Even my famous knife work won't do much. If only I had a hand grenade. And I think that was also um, related to this, right? Dr. Thor, uh, no, not that. Wasn't there something else that talked about them? Yeah, right here. Um, documents on the floor, some kind of paperwork according to this, the two people mentioned in that document, and the documents Jose and Jaime are dead. Looks like it happened on the job. So this has to do with what's on the other side of this wall here. So we saw this danger keep out, um, and then we go here. Now, you're not going to get a great, necessarily a great look at this, but the monster is in this body of water. Uh, the blood on the ground and all the water that you see around this, I don't want to get too close. I don't know how close I can even get to the water um, without that thing beating the crap out of me and possibly killing me. So this is what you do. Remember that blow dryer that we got? Well, uh, we're going to kill this thing with it. So there's a power outlet right here. Uh, there's an outlet here. And you basically just plug this thing in. Let me electrocute this thing. Yeah, and then it's like this giant phallic hentai nightmare creature. Uh, you don't really get to see much of it. It's just this gross tentacle thing. Like, it's just that. That's nuts. Yeah. But yeah, so that's how you kill it. Curiously, though, man, there's all the blood. Those guys got killed big time. Well, I don't know how you get killed small time, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't think there's anything we do over here. What kind of valve could this be? Uh, I doubt it's anything important. I'll just leave it alone for now. Yep, exactly. I don't need this for now. Um, curious, though. Uh, part of me wonders, like, sort of how we're transitioning in and out of, like, the other world or whatever, you know? Like, it's clear that Heather is, has some significance. We know that. She has some sort of importance to the story, um, and that will unfold as time goes on. But she kind of slips in and out of what appears to be the other world, just like the nightmarish version of Silent Hill, um, and the like actual reality. Uh, it's kind of weird because it's in the past these games are sort of dream or nightmare manifestations, whatever. Uh, I wonder if I should get a gun out. How much do I have on my shotgun? Supplies. Oh, the blue one is uh, thirty-six and eighty. Uh, we'll use a handgun. But anyway, it's weird because she's not, I don't think she's technically in Silent Hill right now, right? I mean, she, I mean, she could be, but I don't think that's the case. And if she was, uh, that means that Jaime and Jose and that other guy that was uh, one writing the documentation there, they got killed by a monster that is clearly a Silent Hill creature. So it's, it's pulling other people in. I don't know. I thought that was interesting. Because even the detective, he was pulled in as well. I hate jumping in the water because I'm always terrified there's something that's going to jump out. And because these games are so old, um, the Silent Hill franchise in specific, the audio doesn't always match up to the motion. And so I'm always like, oh god, like, is that me making, Shit. Me making the noise or something else? Okay, run, 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 run. I hate that. That scared the crap out of me. The radio doesn't make as much noise as, as it did in the past when monsters are nearby. And I think that's one of the reasons why we have the radio on us, right? Sometimes it plays noise, but sometimes it doesn't. It must be specific types of monsters trigger the radio effect, others do not. I 
those like sort of jumpy uh environmental noises like you, i may not like actually jump but in my heart like i feel it like it smashes against my rib cage i'm like Ooh. I really hope that we get a Silent Hill 5 or something someday. I'm expecting that we'll get a Silent Hill game in like 2025. Or, uh, I'm sorry, on PlayStation 5 in 2021 or whatever. Jesus. Hate the camera angle here. Uh, can't get in. There's an iron grate blocking the way. I just want to look around. Uh, there's stuff all over, but definitely nothing worth bringing along. here. Cardboard box doesn't have anything useful in it. Okay. I feel like right about now, or maybe a fourth through the game, maybe? One fourth sounds about right. Okay. Let's take a look. Is there anything useful here? Wooden crate is shut pretty tight. I don't think I can get it open. I don't think there's anything useful here. No ammo, health drinks, nothing like that. But man, could you imagine Silent Hill 5 on next-gen consoles and PC and stuff? That'd be so awesome. Ladder. I want to run, but part of me is like worried I'm going to get slashed by something if I... Oh god, what is that thing? Oh, it's just the way the barrel is. Okay, that scared me for a second. Okay, here is save point. Where are we now? A construction site. Okay. Visible barrier at my feet. I can't get to those doors. Can I press this? Emergency light type thing. Wait. Well, there's there. Okay, let's take a look. I don't think we have a map for this. Um, I would be surprised. No, we don't. It's grayed out or blacked out. Let me double check real fast. I don't remember where the map is at in this one. I don't think it would be right at the beginning, but just want to see. Okay. The map for this area should appear at some point. I think if there is one. Okay, elevator, door. Okay, hold the gun out. I like that. It's a satisfying noise. Okay, jump underneath. 1F. Especially because the camera. What's this? No, oh, can't click on it. I just want to inspect the floors first before I go into any doors. Oh, the sign that fell down. Third level ceiling has crumbled for safety's sake. Entry is forbidden. Door shut tight. Okay, good to know. I didn't check two. Useful? No, nothing useful there. Uh, yeah, okay. Same thing with four. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, safety first. Okay. 
So five is open. Um, let me double check two. I also didn't check the elevator down there either. But I think that one is broken too. I just don't remember, but I think it is. Yeah, so two. Oh, really? I thought two was open. Okay. cans in the box. I guess you'd use it on the walls. I don't need that for sure. Yeah, that's true. Excuse, okay. Gotcha. Someone's stamping around. thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like this uh, has been used. Some dude just peed on the seat and she's all like, okay. <laughs> Is there a door here? There was. Okay. Oh, dang it, oops. Uh, an electric cord reel on a bag of cement. I can't really use either of them. Some ammo right there. Thing I found these because, uh, you know, I just wasted a shot like an idiot. Let's see. And bottles and cans look like somebody was living here. That is interesting. I wonder who it was. Health drink, it looks like. I hate that I wasted this bullet. I feel like I have to reload. It's just irritating me. I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm like, reload, you moron. You wasted a bullet. Stupid. Okay, so I have a feeling... Only way is probably down, I think. Right? I can't see the fourth level floor. It's too dangerous to jump down from here. There was a ladder I saw. Hmm. Unless, can we throw the mattress down? A uh, filthy mattress, will you drop it in the hole? Yeah. There's no way that you could jump down from a stone. Well, maybe you could, I guess. That mattress. That homeless guy's going to come back, and he's going to be pissed. Okay. Oh. She straight up jumped. I didn't even have to do anything. This area is super creepy. Okay, there's one spot there. I thought there was something that I was supposed to grab in this room, but maybe I'm just my memory is bad. Some rubble from the broken ceiling. It could be dangerous if I'm not careful. Yes, because that's the thing you got to be worried about the most. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think we're going to cut it off right here. There's a lot for us to do, and uh, we still have plenty of game left, so, you know, don't worry. The videos are between 10 and 15 minutes. If we can stretch them out to be about 20 or so, we'll do that, but I think this is a good point as any to uh, call it a day or night or whatever time it is for you watching this video. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Silent Hill 3. If you're playing along with me, let me know down in the uh, comment section. Let me know what your findings are. Let me know if there's anything I missed that you found useful, any Easter eggs or just
just fun stuff like that. I like knowing how uh, what other people can discover in the games that I play. Um, but uh, we'll continue on with the playthrough tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with a new episode, uh, part of Mark After Dark on the Mark and I channel. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Super easy, just ba-boom, one click. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, you can also do the same thing. Even do it with the other hand if you want and hit ba-boom, Click, click on the subscribe button to help the channel grow. Uh, and if you have anything else you just want to say, feedback of any kind, leave that also down in the comments section. I encourage it, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I do my best to get to every possible comment that I can. Uh, so, you know, it's not in vain. But anyway, that wraps up the video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be well, and I'll see you tomorrow when we continue the playthrough right here on the Mark and I channel. All right, guys, be safe, be well, and uh, I'll catch you later.